Hello and welcome to Melissa Maths. This quiz is on rate of work. There are 14 questions. You just need a pen and a piece of paper to write down your answers. So let's get started. That's the end of the questions. Let's move on to the answers. The total amount of hours worked by the ants is 10 ants at 6 hours each, which is a total of 60 hours. Therefore, it will take one ant 60 hours. The total amount of hours worked by the bees is 8 bees at 10 hours each, which is a total of 80 hours. Therefore, it takes 5 bees 16 hours. The total amount of hours worked by the people is three people at 10 days each, which is the total of 30 days. Therefore, it takes two people 15 days. The total amount of hours worked by the beavers is four beavers at 20 hours each, which is a total of 80 hours. Therefore, it takes 16 beavers five hours. 140 metres of fence is built, so this is 6.6 .6 metres built per hour. 6.6 .6 metres per hour works out at 0 0.185 metres per hour per person. Now we have that 2.7 metres per hour of fence is built. Knowing that 0 0.185 metres of fencing per hour is built per person, we can work out that substituting this into a similar equation and then solving it, we get that it takes 15 people 18 hours to build 50 metres. The total amount of hours worked by the ants is 30 ants at 6 hours a day each, which is a total of 180 hours. The total number of hours by the ants over the 56 days is 10,080. Now we have 45 ants working 7 hours per day, which is 315 hours. Therefore, making and solving a similar equation, it would take 32 days for 45 ants to build a nest working 7 hours per day. One gobstopper is eaten per hour. So that's three gobstoppers eaten by three children in one hour. Now we have 30 gobstoppers eaten in 30 hours, again giving us one eaten in one hour. Therefore, making and solving a similar equation, it would take three children to eat 30 gobstoppers in 30 hours. Six thousand four hundred bricks are used by four children, so each child uses one thousand six hundred bricks. The number of bricks used by each child for each house is forty. Now we have three thousand bricks being used by five children, so they use six hundred each. Therefore, making and solving a similar equation, if each child uses 600 bricks and that is shared into 40 bricks per house, then 15 houses are built by five children.
If two children make 30 houses, then one child makes 15 houses. The children work for three days, so that's five houses per child per day. Now we have 15 houses built by three children, so that's five houses each child. Therefore, making and solving a similar equation, it takes one day to build 15 houses by three children. If it takes three days to build two hives, then it takes one and a half days to build one hive. 20,000 bees working for one and a half days to make one hive is 30,000 total days worked. Now we have six days to build five hives, taking 1.2 days to build one hive. Therefore, making and solving a similar equation with a total of 30,000 days worked to build five hives, it takes six days and 25,000 bees. 39 children working for five hours a day is 195 hours worked. 195 hours worked over 12 days is a total of 2,340 hours worked. Now we have 30 children working six hours a day each, giving a total of 180 hours. Therefore, making and solving a similar equation with a total of 2,340 hours worked and 180 total hours worked by the children in a day, this gives 13 days worked in total. Five elves working for six hours a day is 30 elf hours worked a day. And over six days, this is a total of 180 hours worked. If 10 toys are made in 180 hours, then it takes 18 hours per toy. Now with 16 toys, and it takes a total of 18 hours to make a toy, this is a total of 288 hours worked. The elves work eight hours a day now, giving us 12 times eight, which is 96 hours worked a day. Therefore, making and solving a similar equation, we get that 12 hour elves making 16 toys, working at eight hours a day, it takes three days. On day one, we have an unknown number of ants, so we'll call that X, and we've got 90 days of food. On day 20, we still have X ants, but food is down by 20 days. That same day, another 600 ants arrive, but the food, including the extra ants, is only going to last for 50 days. On day 20, we had 70X total food for the ants. This changed to 50 times X plus 600 worth of food left when the extra ants arrived. We can equate the two scenarios on the same day, getting 70x equals 50 times x plus 600. Solving this for x, we get that there were 1,500 ants originally. On day one, 50 men are needed to build a bridge of 3,000 metres, working eight hours a day over 30 days. They start working, but at day 20, they realise that the 50 men have only completed 1,200 metres, working eight hours a day each. The 50 men have worked a total of 8,000 hours over the 20 days. This works out at 6.7 hours a metre. More men are needed. We can call the additional men X and add to the original 50 men. These men need to complete the remaining 1,800 metres of bridge in the remaining 10 days. They will work for 10 hours a day. The total man hours now works out at 5,000 plus 100x. This is 50 plus x divided by 18 hours per metre. We can equate the two scenarios on the same day, getting 20 over 3 equals 50 plus x divided by 18. Solving this, we get that an extra 70 men are employed to complete the bridge in time. That's the end of my quick quiz on rate of work. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll come again to Melissa Math soon. Bye.